Well, we're in chapter 2-2, logic. And in this chapter, we're looking at uh, statements and uh, the truth value of a statement. A statement uh, is either going to, its truth value is either going to be true or it's going to be false. <clears throat> we talk about negation of a statement. This is the opposite meaning or has the opposite truth value. And along with that, we talk about compound statements. And within compound statements, we see conjunctions and disjunctions. And a conjunction is an and statement, and a disjunction is an or statement. And for a conjunction to be true, well, we got two statements uh, joined together by and. Both statements have to be true. Uh, if either statement is not true, then the conjunction is not true. Or if both statements are not true, the conjunction is not true. And then we're going to take a look here in a moment about disjunctions or, or statements. And I'll give a little description of that here momentarily. So this corresponds, this first slide here corresponds to chapter on page 99. It's example one truth values of conjunctions, and we're given this. Use the following statements to write a compound statement for each conjunction. Then find its truth value. Explain your reasoning. So we have statement P, which is the figure is a triangle. Statement Q, the figure has two congruent sides. And then statement R, the figure has three acute angles and then we're going to be asked to evaluate a couple of conjunctions so let's look here at the first one so the first one says p and q well let's see p is the figure is a triangle and q is the figure has two congruent sides well, obviously, in looking at this, I can see that it certainly is a triangle, and it does have two congruent sides. Those little hash marks there tell me that. And so let's write, and I've already written this, um, a compound statement for the conjunction. So we can say that the figure is a triangle, and this and statement right there is what makes it a conjunction and the figure has two congruent sides and now we're asked to find the truth value well figure certainly is a triangle and it does have two congruent sides and so then we can say that both p and q are true so p and q is true remember for the for a conjunction to be true both statements have to be true. Let's look at one more. Here we're saying not P and not R. Okay, so P is the figure is a triangle. So we could say the figure is not a triangle. And R, the figure has three acute sides. We could say that uh, the figure does not have three acute sides. Let's write this, which would be the figure is not a triangle and that and be in our conjunction statement, the figure does not have three acute sides. While not R is true, it does, it does not have three acute sides. The only acute angles we've got here are this angle and this angle, but this other one is a right is a 90 degree triangle. It's neither acute nor obtuse. While R is not, while not R is true, not P is false. So not P and not R is false. In other words, they both statements have to be true in order for a conjunction to be true. Now let's move over and we'll look at some disjunctions. Now with a disjunction, we're talking about or statements. And if we have or statements, if either of the two statements are true, the disjunction is true. Now, if we do find that both statements in a disjunction are false, well, then also the disjunction is false. 
So if either statement is true, the disjunction is true. So let's take a look at what we have here. It says use the following statements for each disjunction. Then find the value, explain your reasoning. So we have statement P, which is January is a fall month. Statement Q, January has only 30 days. And statement R, January 1st is the, or January 1 is the first day of the new year. Well, obviously January is not a fall month and January has 31 days, not 30. But January 1 is the first day of a new year. So we got two false statements and one true statement, but let's look at this in the context of disjunctions. So our first disjunction is R or P. So R is January 1st, January 1 is the first day of the year, or January is a fall month. So we write that disjunction just like that. January 1st is the first day of the new year, or January is a fall month. Now, is this going to be a true statement, a true disjunction, or not? Well, it is going to be true because R is true. So since January 1 is the first day of the new year, even though January is a fall month is not true, because January the, the first statement is true, then our conjunction is true. Let's look at another one. Here we got Q or not R. Let's see, Q has, Q is, January has only 30 days. And not R would read, January 1 is not the first day of the new year. So let's write that. So January has only 30 days or January 1 is not the first day of the new year. Well, Q is false because January has 31 days. And the negation of R is certainly not true because January 1 is the first day of the new year. So we would say that since both Q and the negation of R are false, then Q or not R is false. One last one before we leave this subject of disjunctions. P or not Q. So let's see, P, January is a fall month. Well, we know that's not true. Uh, and not Q, January uh, does not have only 30 days. Let's see how we wrote this. January is a fall month or January does not have only 30 days. The negation of Q, January does not have only 30 days. Well, is this disjunction true or is it false? Well, since the negation of Q, where we wrote that is January does not have only 30 days, that's true, has 31 days, then P or the negation of Q is in fact true. So for a disjunction, if either of the statements are true, then the disjunction is true. If both of the, dis the statements are not true, if they're both false, then the disjunction is in fact false. Got to have some patience to work your way through this.